Hi, welcome to this video lecture. Today we're going to be talking about doing logic-based control and on-off control in Python. Uh, specifically, we're going to be using an interface to Python called Collimator. Collimator is a lot like Simulink, which is a, a product that goes with MATLAB. Uh, Collimator lets you have a graphic user interface where you can build block diagrams of your system uh, using this Collimator tool, but then you can dig in and have really nice customizable models using Python code. In the last video lecture, we developed this thermal model of a building system where we wrote some Python code based on just a simple energy balance and we were able to calculate the predicted change in temperature with time, that's dt dt, as a function of uh, inputs that we gave to our system like a heater, how much heat uh, this heater was giving into our system, and then how much heat we were losing primarily by convection through the walls and um, roof area of our building. So that was our Python model. We calculated dt dt with our energy balance, integrated that temperature, and fed it back into our model so that we could calculate temperature loss as a function of temperature inside the building. We gave our model external inputs, uh, which this is the T infinity or our ambient temperature. We modeled this as a sine wave. This is just a, a crude way of showing uh, how weather might fluctuate outside. Um, over the course of a day and then we also gave our our model the ability to have this external uh, heating value so we could define this value kind of arbitrarily uh, in practice you wouldn't just turn on a heater in your system ideally you would be in a, a system that is temperature controlled in in your home or in your office building or wherever you work you want your building to be a comfortable temperature and so what's going on behind the scenes is that you have a thermostat that thermostat is telling the heater when to be on and when to be off in previous video lectures uh, we we developed PID controls where you you choose a set point and then you can tune the value of your manipulated variable to be just the right value so that you're meeting your set point. Uh, most HVAC systems don't work that way though. Typically a heater or an air conditioning system will operate in either on or off mode and so we're going to be simulating that today. So this value of the heater, instead of fixing this as a constant, we're going to define a controller. So just by way of illustration, I'm going to show you that you can actually code in logic into models in, in Collimator using Python code. So I'm going to code up, um, first I'm going to grab a new Python script block and I'm going to call this just, I'll just call it temp control and I want to be controlling my heater value based on what is, based on my the temperature inside my room and I'm going to be assuming that the heaters are either on or off. So I'm going to give this block uh, some input. So first I'm going to tell it, I'm going to have it read in what the actual temperature is of the building. I'm going to give it another input where we can type in our temperature set point and I'm going to give it an output which is going to be this value Q heater. All right, so I'm gonna right click on this block and go to toggle port labels so I can see these labels clearly and this just makes it a lot easier to use. So I'm gonna assume that this temperature controller reads in the actual temperature of my building. I'm gonna give it a set point which will just use a constant value here. And this constant I'm going to rename to be just temperature set point. This is makes for it just easier to read your model. Let's give it a set point of a nice and comfortable 25 degrees Celsius, which is about room temperature. So now, rather than fixing this value of Q heater, I'm going to have my controller decide the value of the heater, and again, whether it's on or whether it's off. So in the prior video, we used this constant value of 20 kilowatts. Uh, now we're gonna upsize our heater a little bit so that it can heat uh, faster when it needs to and then it can turn off uh, when it's no longer needed. So I'm going to go into this Python script. I'm just going to be right here in this step part. So basically every time step that Collimator takes this code will execute and it'll calculate uh, what my heater value should be. So I'm just going to create a nice if statement here. So I'm going to say if the temperature of the space in my building is less than the temperature set point then I am going to say Q heater. I want this heater to be on and I'm going to upsize my heater to make it a, be able to heat at a value of 40. And then I'm also going to say 
if um, in the opposite condition, if my temperature is above the set point, then I want to turn my heater off. So I'm just going to give this a value of zero in this case. So I got some simple Python code. I want to make sure that my variable names match the variable names that I've defined over here, my inputs being T and TSP, and then my output being Q underscore heater. So it looks like we're okay there. So I've got this programmed in, I've given it a temperature set point of 25, and let's see what happens. I'm going to left click uh, this little plot icon here so that it's calculating what my heater set point is going to be. I'm just going to simulate this, if we have the simulation set up to go for 7200 seconds, I'm just going to go with 600 seconds, um, just so we're making sure this works properly. So I go ahead and compile and run my model. Okay, so here are our results. Let's take a look at what's happening. So we see this green line is our uh, T infinity. So it starts off at five. It's heating up outside to about 15 degrees at its max, and then it's cooling down again. You can see in this example, we actually have really nice temperature control. So we have a set point of 25. You can see that we're hovering very close to that 25 for the actual temperature of our building. So in this regard, our controller is working pretty well. However, let's look down here at what's happening to this uh, temp control block. And this is actually what our heater is doing. And you can see it is switching on and off very frequently. So what happens here is that uh, collimator takes really small time steps. So if the heater's on, that means our temperature is going to increase. So it's going to cross over that 25 degree set point threshold and our heater is going to turn off again. And as soon as it turns off, it crosses over the threshold again pretty much immediately. So you can see this is just a 600 second simulation, but you can see for some periods here, this is switching off very frequently. So this is really bad for a heater and for any kind of a, a motor where if it's switching on and off frequently, that can cause the motor to wear out pretty rapidly. You could also imagine this being pretty annoying inside your home when you're hearing your heater kick on and off just so frequently that would drive you crazy but it would also wear out your system really badly so um, while this control does seem to regulate our temperature it's not going to be a good long-term solution so while we just developed this nice logic-based control system I'm actually going to scrap this and we're going to program something that looks much more like the way a real thermostat would work so we're going to use a relay block in collimator this relay block, what it does is it takes in a signal of the controlled variable here, and it's going to spit out, again, a value of your manipulated variable, and then you program in some set points. And what this block does is it actually lets you define a dead band of temperature. So instead of just controlling to a fixed value, like we were trying to control to 25 before, in this case, we want to give our relay block an upper set point and a lower set point and have it control between those two. And then the block itself is going to retain in, in memory what the value of your previous uh, heater position was before. So what we want to do is give this these parameters. So in collimator, um, we want to give this a lower threshold and an upper threshold. So instead of just controlling to 25 degrees Celsius, I'm going to control between 23 degrees and 27 degrees. Um, and you'll have to ignore, so collimator gives you by default this on threshold and off threshold. We're going to kind of ignore those, but basically when we hit this upper threshold, this on threshold, we want to determine what we want the value of our heater to be in that case. So when we, as our building temperature rises and we hit this upper threshold, we want our heater to turn off. So we want, when we hit that upper threshold, we want our heater to have a value of zero and it's turning off. I know that's counterintuitive, but this is the way that this relay block is set up in collimator. Then after, when we turn our heater off, we're going to expect our building temperature to go back down and it's going to go all the way down until it hits 23 degrees or our lower limit and that's when we're going to want the heater to kick on again. So when it hits this lower threshold, we're going to want our heater to kick on again and be heating to a value of 40. So this should give us, it will not give us perfect temperature control, um, but it will cause our heater to be switching on and off a lot less frequently. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens if we get results that are more realistic. And as you can see, uh, with our temperatures, we do see that we are now controlling within this dead band. So we 
our temperature follow the purple line. It rises up to a value of 27. Then our heater turns off and we cool back down to 23 and then it turns on again. I'm going to run the simulation again using where I'm plotting this relay value and I'm going to go ahead and give this a name of Q heater so we can uh, see how this looks a little bit better. Okay, so now we've got, you can see the heater value. So now the heater, it kicks on and it stays on for several minutes and then it kicks off and it stays off for several minutes. So now we no longer see that crazy chattering behavior. And so we've got some uh, memory built into our system where it will kick on and stay on for a while and then it'll kick off later and stay off uh, for a while. So let's go ahead and change our simulation back to this two hours uh, like we were doing before and just observe what happens to our overall system here. Okay, so you can see here is our temperature. Um, we are staying generally within this dead band between 23 and 27 degrees. There are points in time where we do go below that 20 degrees. So notice the T in purple is 22.2 right there. And that's basically because our ambient temperature right there is below zero. It's just really cold outside. We have our heater kicked on that entire time, and basically the heater just can't provide enough power to get us up to the temperature that we want. But you can see this pattern kind of repeats. The heater kicks on more. F uh, the heater kicks on and stays on during these really cold periods, but then as the ambient uh, conditions warm up, then we can see that our heater does modulate and it is able to turn off every once in a while. So this is how you do on-off control using a relay block in Collimator with a thermal model that we've built in Python.